here. My name is Molly Kate. I'm a 24 year old fashion designer and today I'm going to attempt to make a transforming two-in-one Carrie Halloween costume. So the vision here is sissy spacek prom dress scene without the pig's blood. Just for you know if you're going to a Halloween party but you don't want to use fake blood this is a no mess option. This is trying to transform her iconic pink dress into a red dress without the mess. So I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I have a vision in my head of how this transformation is going to work out, but we'll see. I'm kind of running out of time. Gears are turning. We'll see if it works. So out. come along with me as I try to figure out the mechanics of this and hopefully make a pretty iconic costume. Let's go. Okay guys, so this dress is my starting point, okay? And this is me trying to figure out the mechanics of how to make a transforming dress. So this is a cowl neck dress. Ignore this for right now. There's a cowl neck underneath it. This is a simple cowl neck dress that I made a couple months ago. See the back here. And I made it actually using this pattern. So I didn't pattern this myself. And basically this was super, super simple for me to make. And I feel like it is very close to the dress in the movie. So obviously this is a cowl neck instead of a more v-neck shape. And that's the one piece of her costume that I'm going to have to give up in order to have this moment happen. But I think it's gonna be okay. When I was researching, you know, Halloween Carrie costumes, a lot of them had a cowl neck. So that's one piece that I'm just gonna let slide. So I'm going to remake this dress, obviously in a lighter pink color. Going to make sure that the length is correct since it's a floor length dress and then here is the mechanics of how i think this will work so this super wrinkly piece of fabric is literally just a rectangle that i cut of scrap fabric and i'm using it here on this dress just to play around and figure this out so what i'm thinking is is that i can have this piece here it will be my light pink color on the outside that's going to match the rest of the body of the dress and then I'm gonna line the inside of this little panel in a matching red satin and I'm going to attach it here along the original neckline of the dress and then where the magic comes in is that it's going to be attached with snaps at the cami points and at the underarm ignore this this is the rest of the rectangle <laughs> but that was just me draping and playing around so underarm cami points sewn nice and cleanly at the neckline and then since this will be red on the inside what will happen is there'll be some sort of moment some sort of unveiling if you will and i will unsnap the cami points I will unsnap the underarm and you can do this quickly. I'm just, I'm doing it slowly right now, but obviously in the moment you just go boom, boom, boom. And then this will fall. And when this falls, the red fabric here will be exposed and I will use tool chiffon that leftover scrap fabric from that dress I made and attach it here to flow down. And I'm not going to cut that in big pieces. It's more going to be strips because all of it is going to have to be rolled up to fit in here. And so obviously I don't want a whole bunch in here because I don't want a ton of bulk. Okay. Like Carrie's dress didn't even have this little scoop at the top, it was more v-neck. So I really don't wanna to go too far from the design here. I just need this little scoop to make this moment happen. 
Okay, here are the supplies that I got. I have three and a half yards of blush pink silk satin. This is for the base of the dress. One yard of red silk satin for the reveal. I have heat bond hem tape here, which I've actually never used before, but I would like to try out. And then I have two methods here for unsnapping of the reveal. So I have snaps here. And then if that doesn't work, Velcro. But I'm hoping I won't have to use this. I'm hoping I can just stick with the snaps. And then make sure you get the right needles. You'll want something light for sewing on silk satin. And then of course you need your sewing shears. You will also want some additional red fabric. These are scraps that I have from a previous dress that I made. So this is a polyester organza. I do have a pretty good amount of it here, which is pretty nice. It's just cut in kind of random shapes, which will be perfectly fine since I'm just going to cut this into strips anyways. And then again, this is the pattern that I used. I did not pattern draft it myself, but I will link this below in the description. I got it on Etsy. We are going to extend this to be floor length. So make sure you have a measuring tape to measure the length of your gown. So now's the part that's kind of confusing, but I'm basically trying to figure out how to cut this piece here. And what I'm thinking is, is that it's going to have to be on the fold here on the bottom. And then I'll unpin the cami points. And you'll see that this here will all be red on the inside. So that tells me that I need to cut a pink piece and a red piece on the fold of the top portion of our pattern piece. So I'm going to come over here. I'm using this candle to hold my pattern down. And it's folded here on the fold line because we don't need the lining that this would give if we did keep it because the actual dress will act as our lining and then the actual dress will have this piece of lining so we're just going to keep that here on the fold line so this is folded and basically i held this pattern piece up to the dress form and i held like the pattern piece here at the cami point here at the cami point and then kind of followed it along the mannequin to think that I want it to, I want this drape to kind of end past our masking tape mark. so that I'm leaving enough room for the red fabric to fall down. So I think if I cut just like this and then do it again in red, I think it will work. <laughs> Here are my 
my pattern pieces. So I have a red and I have a pink. I'm going to put right sides together and then stitch these together, leave a small area to flip inside out and then I'm going to press. That will be key for this. <laughs> Okay, so I finished making this piece and I'm not sure how I feel about it because while I do think the drop is going to work, I kind of made a whole bodice instead of just a band at the top. So basically, it's just really long and I feel like once it's a full gown, it's going to look weird having this little kind of it almost looks like a waistline so i'm wondering if there's a way that i can just shorten it like ideally i would have cut the pattern piece more so that i know i cut the fabric out on the fold but i should have shifted it down more so that it would have been shorter because i mean look at the side seam like it's just really long so Kind of brainstorming what to do i think next i should sew the actual dress i have my front and my two back pieces already cut out and so i think i should sew it together and then put this on top and see how bad it looks with the bodice being this length and then kind of go from there and see if i need to cut it but what i am happy about is just Overall, the concept of it, I think, is going to work. You can kind of see that the red is peeking out here. So I'm thinking that this top neckline, I might need to turn back and do like a couple French tacks, I think, so we don't see the red. But basically... I just I don't want it to be too bulky like this is supposed to be like a nice prom dress and I just feel like it's all so bulky and I don't even have the other fabric in here yet <sighs> like I don't have like the strips of chiffon or organza in here so I'm a little nervous but what I am excited about is the reveal like I'm gonna try to do this very quickly because I'm holding the camera with my other hand like this look at it this is the red lining and this is just so long but it's pretty much like a whole second dress and i pretty much just intended for it to be like a band and then here i'm going to attach the strips of organza so when this is up here the organza is going to be like hidden in here and then it's going to fall and it's going to be like the bottom of it but uh, I'm just so stressed about it being so bulky, you know? see this line that I drew here with chalk and a ruler 
all of this needs to come off and while it is kind of gonna suck to have to cut that and re-sew it it needs to be done and once this is cut i actually don't need the pink on this side because this red can attach to the dress directly and taking out the pink here will relieve a lot of the bulk that's happening so i'm going to cut this seam rip the pink off of this and then sew this which will actually give me a crisper finish because i can press it then this fold anyways which i think will be really nice so cut sew press seam rip and then attach the red to the dress i don't know it sounds easier than i think it's really gonna be but i'm gonna try it I took a step back and I looked at my dress and I'm so excited look how good it's looking just that little kind of drape we have going on here makes it so much more form-fitted and so much less bulky and I'm so happy I cut it like it just goes to show you that if you have something in mind do not compromise even if it's more work just do it Okay, so I have the whole dress made now. So I cut it to the length that I want. I have the straps on. And basically what I'm figuring out now is how to attach this portion here. So everywhere that I have a yellow pin is going to be a snap. So I think there's a snap here, a snap there, a snap here at the underarm, that underarm. And then all of these layers need to be attached. And I think there's no really better way to do this neatly other than just folding it over twice and stitching it, which is gonna be kind of bulky and I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but that's the only way that I can think to in case all of this. So this is what it looks like after I attached the strips and basically these are just hand sewed on. So I just took red thread and just tacked them and what i did was i left these super super long and then realized that once all of this gets folded up it was really bulky when these went super super long so i had to go in and give them a haircut unfortunately so they're not super long some of them are but then some of them are kind of short but I like how just organic it feels and it's kind of chaotic, kind of messy. And that's what I like about it because it's not supposed to be perfect. So this is how it turned out. And then you'll see I attached the snaps here on the straps directly. Originally I had them down here on the actual bodice, but then wanted to move them up here on the straps. That way it will really cover all of the red. So it's like that on both sides and then it's also here at the underarm as well. So that's how it's all snapped. And then if you want to look at the back, it came together really, really nicely. So again, seeing the snaps here and then this has that little lining piece on the back, just a little facing. 
And then this is it on the inside with the inner lining. So all the edges are finished. It's super clean, super crisp. I'm definitely really proud of the sewing on this, even though I did this in like a day. I think I didn't sacrifice quality on this. How it looks finished at the neckline. And then how I ended up, you know, attaching this here was actually by hand sewing it. So where that fold was that I had to cut, I ended up just hand tacking and it turned out pretty perfect. So I'm gonna put this on the dress form so you can see it. And then I'm going to try it on. Ready? Woo, there it is. And then all this, you could just kind of just kind of brush that down so obviously not perfect not perfect but again to make in less than two days I'm pretty proud of it pretty proud of it pretty excited oh my gosh it's so fun and I love this neckline I think this neckline is so pretty okay last step I want to show you all the accessories I got so I went and I got some pink roses they are uh, kind of dying <laughs> from the store and some satin pretty wide ribbon from Amazon to tie the bow this is actually a table runner that I got on Amazon I just searched blush pink so that this can be her shawl these are some heels that I have a little corsage also from Amazon I will link all of this down below little earrings because why not and then lastly her tiara oh pretty it's pretty spot on to the one that Carrie wears I wanted to make sure I found one almost identical and I think this is it all right and now for the costume change Thanks for watching. Bye.